my name is Linda Crocco and I wanted to do a quick demonstration on how I use a palette knife with alcohol links. These are some of the pictures that I've done previously. Um, as you can tell, they all come out different. I never get the same thing twice, but we do get some really pretty effects with it. And so um, some people have asked me if I would share this method and that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm starting off with a piece of aluminum foil underneath my paper. Um, the reason for this is because it's messy and some of the extra ink that comes off the paper I'll be able to use again um, in a future painting just by using this as a palette. I've drawn a dark line on my paper and I'm using photo paper from Costco that I've cut down to 5 by 7 I'll actually be doing the back side of the paper. Um, and I drew the line on the wrong side, but that's okay because I can see right through to see where that is. I'm a little bit straight line challenged and need help with that horizon line. So I'll be using today 91% alcohol. I have it in an old blending solution bottle, but it's just alcohol in there. I'll be using black ink, ginger, and slate. So I'm going to start off by putting down a line of black ink right across where I want my horizon to be on here. I let it sit just for a few seconds to just start to um, set up and then I use the back of my palette knife and gently pull upwards on it to create um, whether it's going to be cliffs or just shapes that you may want to use as part of your painting. You can also pull down a little bit but as you can tell it's already started to dry quite a bit and I can't pull down anymore. I'm just going to clean the back of my palette knife off. Knife off with a little bit of the alcohol. So next I'm going to put a line of slate on here. I like the slate because when you add alcohol to it and spread it out you sometimes get streaks of really light blue which is very pretty. And that right alongside of that I'm putting in a line of ginger. Um, I really think it's very pretty to use ginger in this particular painting. It, it gives some very nice um, coloring to it. And then I'm just going to let that go back and forth a minute and do its thing. What I'm going to be doing is I have a small palette knife and I'm going to be using the back of the knife to put some alcohol along the back and then, and then I will be putting my forefinger on the front to add a little bit of pressure and I'll be drawing that alcohol through the ink that's already on the paper. So I'm going to start now I have to put down a little bit of alcohol. Figure out where you want that horizon line to be and then just pull that straight down. And you can wipe off your palette knife and just keep repeating that going across. You can see you get some pretty colors already starting on there. It's okay if you get a little bit of blooming going on. You can correct that later. So you can see already my, my straight line is pretty much gone already, but that's okay. I can tweak that with a little bit more black ink afterwards. So I'm just going to pull this down a little bit more and go over some spots that are still a bit dark. And if you have a problem, if you get it like a big blob, you can always use a uh, makeup sponge and put a little bit of your alcohol on that and pull it through and that will take care of anything that you need to fix. So now I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to do the same thing on the sky, but I won't be putting my finger on the back because I want this sky to be much lighter than the bottom half of the painting. So same method, put the alcohol on there. This time very gently just pull on that black. So you're getting just a little bit of a blush of color. If you want more color, just press harder and you'll end up getting a bit more color coming up. Like I have quite a bit on that one. It's a little bit more than I want, but that's okay. I'm going to do it one more time over here. And I'm going to go over that area because it, it's um, darker and I've got some odd lines in there. I'm going to go over this part again. This is kind of what I meant about how it never comes out the same way twice. So I'm not happy with that bumpy line in here. So I'm going to put a little bit of alcohol on that sponge and just kind of wipe through there. Clean that up a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing over here. And it gives it a little bit of a pinkness to the sky, but I, I like that. And so I'm going to turn it back over. So now that's actually looking pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to add just um, 
a drop of color on there and just put a little bit more line because like I said it's not even again and that's something I always struggle with and those of you who are, work with alcohol ink a lot I'm sure you'll be able to get all kinds of ideas from this and come up with your own um, basic landscapes I hope you enjoy using this method and um, if you're one of those people who also uses pens and stuff you can go in and add more detail on your cliffs or you can do whatever you want with it but that's basically how that works and I hope you enjoy it thank you very much for watching